Kia ora team. As a new hunter, or even a seasoned hunter, you ever struggle to find new hunting spots in the public land? Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you through the process that I use to find new hunting spots in the public land of New Zealand, specifically in the North Island of New Zealand. My process is broken down into two phases. Phase one, research phase, on the computer, looking for potential spots that have a series of attributes, and I'll take you through what those are. Phase two is the reconnaissance phase. That means getting boots on the ground and looking for that potential hotspot. In the video, I'm gonna jump on here, show you how I do phase one, it's my research, and then I'll show you a reconnaissance that a friend and I have just recently done. So, let's get into it. Okay, the research phase. Jump online, find the Department of Conservation map. Here's the link. Once you have the map up, there's a couple of things we need to do. First of all, up here to the left, hit the drop down, toggle through the maps. The three map layers available to you are the topographical satellite and base. We'll be using the topographical and satellite for this exercise. Now this bit is really important. Go back up to the top, hit dock features, go down and select hunting areas. This will highlight in brown all the public hunting land areas that dock controls as well as the boundaries that border the private farmland. With our map squared away, it's time to think about our first consideration, and that is the area you want to hunt in relation to where you live. In this example, we'll use the southern Ruahenes, and let's take it, we live in Palmerston North. So for this exercise, we'll make it a requirement that we don't want to travel any more than an hour, an hour and a half from home to the car park of our hunting area. With that in mind, I've chosen the Pahongana Valley and number one line. As you can see, the area is shaded in brown, so we know it's dock land. Time to toggle off our topo map and move to our satellite. And what we're looking for on this map are any open areas that deer are likely to be. In the Ruahenes, any open scrubby area or open face or slip has the potential to hold deer. Another factor to consider is when does the sun hit those potential faces? Morning, afternoon. Because the deer, they like to come out both early in the morning and late in the evening. Once we think we've identified a few likely areas of where deer could be, the next step is to ID some potential positions where we can observe and shoot. Now this is the crucial bit, the distance to target relevant to the rifle and caliber you're using and your capability. For example, you're shooting a 308, anything down to 500 is fine. If you're shooting something slightly bigger, 300 Wisdom, 300 Wind Mag, well obviously you can look to engage targets out to 800 meters. While finalizing a potential shooting blind, it pays to also look at potential recovery routes down to get the animal if you're successful and lastly it's how we get to that potential spot obviously in this scenario we have the number one line track but our position is slightly off there we would look to get a gps location to the potential shooting spot program that into our gps and when walking up or down the track look for a critical point where you need to leave the track and head down to that potential shooting blind. Pretty, that's the research phase. Obviously, it's a good start. Um, this next little video is myself and a good friend heading out to do some reconnaissance on an area that we've done using a similar process. It's not the actual place, but anyway, check this out. We've made it to your know, spot. Awesome, no cars here, but cold and damp, which is um, yeah, good for us. <laughs> yeah, real good for us. I'll introduce you to um, 
dares once we get a bit of light and um, we'll get our gear squared away and get uh, grinding up this hill in the dark okay while we get our boots on and get our gear squared away i thought i'd just quickly introduce darren mark aka daz now daz and i share a very similar military background and as you'll pick up with his accent he's ex-british military so the skills that we've both learnt in the military that we'll be using on this mission is navigation so we actually did this off camera typical um, ex-soldiers but um, we did a declaration cleared our weapons showed the chambers miners um, bolt in no mag and now round up the spout there's yep we are bolt in mag out and uh, nothing up the pot all right all right that's us let's get our little hecoy going um, sort of gave Daz a bit of a rundown on um, yeah, about 40 odd minutes of uh, humping up on a fairly well formed track and then we're going to go scrub after that and she's probably going to get a little bit moist in the bush so let's get our hecoy on Alrighty, so we've just come under, under canopy. Uh, the plan is to continue up this ridge um, and then I'll nav up, I'll put mate onto the map. Onto the map, it's one of those things we're having a bit of a laugh back in the days of our military service where um, we'd all go to knee and then our section commander will come along, have the map and go, right, where do you think you are? And you were just hoping you'd put your finger in the right place, otherwise he'd just give you that disappointed look. What's that disappointed look like, Des? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we won't repeat that. Um, but anyway, we've got about, I'd say about oh, 40 minutes to get to sort of like my known last reference point of where I want to break down a prominent ridge to find a new blind and from that point we pretty much come off this fairly well well formed track and that's where i'll um i'll set my gps going i'll uh do a nav check with daz make sure we're on on point and that effectively becomes and, it's, and this is a military thing becomes an rv what's an rv des rendezvous mate rendezvous rendezvous yeah. rendezvous yeah so set up an rv point so if I lose my pommy colleague, he knows to go back to that point. Yeah. So we're doing our nav check, of course. You'd love to see what's on this little uh, iPhone, wouldn't you? <laughs> um, so we're here, right on that point there, and We've walked up from that base there. I want to get to this sort of feature here. Yeah. That feature there. See how slightly the grid lines are wider apart, so yeah, we yeah. kind of know it's it's flatter on the top there. And I want to shoot into here, bro, into these faces here. That's that's what I want to do. Onto no, there. Point. Yeah, that, that, that. anywhere through there, as long as you can get eyeballs out to those faces there, yeah. you find a clearing and then maybe tidy it up. So from where we are, it's 700 meters as the crow flies. So it'll be a bit like maybe better click click a walking and then obviously maybe 300 down the down the face yeah yeah it doesn't look too steep either no down the shot, it's fine. right so we've um <coughs> we've cut off made our way down the um ridge and we ju we're just been checking the contours because it's quite wide where this is and my cover scout there is doing a bloody good job just keeping me on nav but um this is the this is exactly where we want it to be in terms of the the type of vegetation um because we were in that tight stuff up the top and we just knew that was shit but we um we found a gap and we found some light so potentially it could be looking on to where we can get some eyeballs on this is the cool thing and exciting thing about doing recons like this it fucking everything is exciting man 
I might head back up there. Yeah, that looks a bit prominent, eh? Yeah. All right. We have found a spot. It's um, I think it's someone else has been here because they've uh, cut a few bits and pieces down to the crest here across the ridge. But the only problem is, is that we're using map map referencing only because I'll show you. Over there is supposed to be some really good faces. So that's the plan. Trim a little bit of veg just to open up a shooting channel. And then probably have a bite to eat and then get the flock out of here because it is cold. <laughs> so a wee bit of an update. Um, yeah, that's the shooting blind out there. We just had to trim a couple of little trees down to get our shooting lane. Um, if it was a lot clearer, <laughs> I'd be able to show you, but there's faces, really good faces out here to shoot on. Um, I, I will definitely show you before we bug out, definitely. But um, she's been a little bit of bit of work to get in here to nav around because it certainly wasn't um, where I was when I said the last time we were setting it up because it um, it cleared and we realised we were miles away. So we got into a spot here, good canopy cover at the back. And then obviously, good shooting lane out that way. Oh shit, she's pissing down. Yeah. There it is. How many faces we got to shoot? One, two, there's two over there. Yeah. Three, four. There you go. Oh Jesus Christ, as soon as I did that, it clicked. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> we're going to drop a pin on this one for our uh, GPS location. And that um, sort of, uh, I know, confirms our recon was successful only in terms of finding a, a good spot to set up. We kind of think, looking back in here, it could be tripod shooting, but I think that's us. Maybe we'll um, try and find a nice track out of here that's going to suit coming back in here with packs, big packs, and then maybe just have a scout around for a campsite bit of a hoochie up area so anyway let's uh, do that and make our way back to the car <laughs> Well, I hope you guys got something out of that little video. Um, hopefully Daz and I will return back there and tip over a couple of there. So don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.